This is the new MG4, and this is the best value for money electric car you can buy today. I'm Max Otavani, and welcome to Driven Plus. Now you probably already know, MG are now a Chinese owned car manufacturer. Gone are the days of being a British standard go-to, but they're slowly making their way back into the UK market and they've poured out an absolute bargain here. Now, let's talk about the price because this is the best selling point about the MG4. These start from 26,995 and this is what the world needs an affordable electric car because there still is a premium with electric cars over ICE cars. This is the entry level MG, so it's the SE spec. You have a 51 kilowatt hour battery with about 218 miles of range. Now for an extra two and a half grand, you can upgrade to the 64 kilowatt hour battery and that gives you 280 miles of range. I think for the two and a half grand, I think it's definitely worth it. Electric cars are getting quicker at charging these days, which was always the bugbear when it came to charging. They always took too long. But the infrastructure is getting there, so it's definitely going in the right direction. So, charging time. If you're gonna charge the car with a CCS connection, which is a combined charging system, so you charge the car using both ports there, you can charge the car from 10% to 80% in just under 40 minutes. Now, if you've got a home charger, which is using one of these, if you plug it in, this will then take nine hours to charge from empty to full. But if you haven't got one of these, and this is potentially your first electric car, then the plug at home isn't gonna work because that's gonna take 26 hours to charge. So definitely invest in a home charger. Let's move on to the design and let's start off with the front. It looks all right, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Got nice sporty headlights there, LEDs, nice carbon fiber trim down here. It's all fake, but it looks good. Trims here and on the trophy model, which is top of the range, you get an LED strip light here, which also looks really good. Nice little bulge in the bonnet. I wouldn't be too bothered if I drove around this with a front end like that. Moving on to the side profile, there's a lot of sharp lines going on again. Nice big side sill trim here with, again, the carbon fibre stuff. Five doors, you can only get them in five doors, no three door option. And you get a 17 inch alloy wheels as standard. So moving on to the rear of the MG4, it might just be me, but at first glance, you kind of have to look twice because it looks like some Toyota, doesn't it? Might just be me, anyway. You get a nice small red brake light on the top there. Now onto the, the LED rear lights there. You've got like a crisscross light thingy. I don't even know if they light up or if it's designed. Looks pretty cool. Nice little badge there, seven year warranty on these. MG4 electric badge and a nice cool plastic trim thingy here. And red reflector light. Yeah. Looks okay, doesn't it? So here's the test. Before we go in and have a look at the boot space, will the boot open on the key? Hmm, ish. Then you have to manually do it. But what can you expect for 26 grand? Now looking into the boot, it's a decent sized space, 363 liters to be exact, which is smaller than the VW ID or Golf if you're gonna compare it to them two. Now, if you bring the two seats back, which you have to do, from the middle, this storage then extends to 1,177 meters. So moving on to the bonnet, let's see if it gives you any storage because there's an electric car. No, and one thing, you kind of go back 15, 20 years, it's got one of these instead of struts, but it's got all the heating system, battery, and all the, the washing fluid stuff, but don't expect to have any extra storage in the MG4 in the bonnet. Now, Optional extras on this car, it's got the silver paint, which is about a 500 quid option. Now, as you can see, this has got the tint. <laughs> you see, it's funny because only the trophy version of the MG4 comes with the tint as standard. But this is the SE, so why has it got tint? Well, that's because the first 600 models of the MG4 come with tint. It was a mistake by MG, which is funny. And another funny thing is the owner of the car had to take it back for a recall last week because there was a software malfunction where there was a potential of the car locking the driver inside. And it looks like MG has a few things to sort out. And do you know what? Sitting in the rear of the car is actually really comfortable. I'm actually sinking into the seats really nice. Leg space is, is all right. Head space, I think if you're a bit taller than me, you might struggle as it does, the roof does slope 
down a bit towards the end. One good thing is the windows go all the way down, which is good. Yeah, USB socket there. I shall fix here as well. What, what more can you want? Right, so moving on to the interior, get a nice flat bottom steering wheel here. Feels good, nice and sporty. Um, the plastics and the leathers used, it's not bad. I mean, cheap leather here, hard plastics here, but what do you expect for 26 grand? Two cup holders down the bottom with storage bin and a netting thing there. You get the MG4 EV embroidered onto the, uh, the carpets, which is all good. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, which is also good. But one thing which I was just, you know, manoeuvring it around here, there's no reversing camera, but that does come standard on the trophy model. So onto the tech, so you've got a seven inch driver's display, really good and simple. And you also get a 10 inch infotainment system here, which it's a bit knacky to use. It's, it's, it's like a five year old system. You click something, it takes three seconds to load. Um, to put it in different driver modes, you have to go in different settings. It's yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this, to be honest. And I don't even know how to turn the radio on and off. I mean, you've got, you got a button for, obviously, the volume down and volume up, but there's no, like, generic off button. So, whilst I'm in the MG4, let's get on the road. Now, this road here, on a bit of a, a bumpy road, first thing, is all nice and quiet, and it's soaking up the bumps really well. It is all weird, all this electric stuff. Everything's quiet. It's new for me. I'm quite a fan, to be honest, because it's it's just so quiet. There's no noise of an engine working. It's just going, just pure silence. Now, bear in mind, this is the standard MG4. You get 168 horsepower and 184 foot-pounds of torque, which ain't bad. 0 to 60 in 7.5 seconds, and it'll top out at 99 miles an hour. What more do you want? You know, for something you're just going to go drive to the shops in or drive to work in, it's, it's all you need. And another good thing is it's rear wheel drive, which we all like. Not for any reason you're going to be drifting in one of these, but I quite like that. But you know what, it's genuinely fun to drive. It's responsive, really comfortable, seating position is good, armrest is in a good position, and one probably prefer that one there. But I'll tell you what, let's... Uh, Let's put it in sport, because we've got a bit of a straight road here. Driving, not snow, sport mode. Take a right turn here. See how different... Yeah, not bad. Picks up well. It's genuinely fun to drive, you know, it's responsive, really torquey doesn't lack any power and here's the good bit they're going to bring a 440 horsepower model out now that's going to be interesting but round town you know in a built up areas it's perfect you can even hear the, the birds tweeting so I'll put the car into eco mode now and there's a lot more regenerative braking which I can tell immediately a lot of people Looking at the cars if they've never seen one before. And as I'm looking into the mirror, it's got very poor visibility. Now with electric cars, obviously, you do miss that noise, that natural noise coming from the front, and that's the engine, and that kind of blocks out any road noise. Where with electric car, you've got none of that. So you do get a lot of road noise coming through to the cabin, but on this one, there is quite a bit more than usual. I'm quite a fan of this regenerative braking because when you come into a junction or a car in front is slowing down to you, you just have to let off the throttle and it just naturally slows down. It's just ease for driving. I actually do quite like that, that element. Look, at the end of the day, it's a 26 round car. It doesn't have the luxuries of potentially maybe a VW. You have to compromise for a few luxuries such as it hasn't got heated seats, but it's just a car. It does its job very well by just being a car, as in, it'll go to work, it'll take the kids to school, and the range is good. And it's comfortable. 
if you want all those luxuries, go buy a Tesla, go buy BMW, go buy you know, VW, whatever, Audi. But this job, this does its job perfectly. So before I go, what are my thoughts on the new MG4? Well, it's not trying to be anything spectacular. It is what it is, and that's just a car with an electric motor, and it does that job absolutely brilliantly. You know, it's cheap, affordable, and it just gets you A to B in just an ordinary fashion, which is sometimes what you want. And if you're thinking of changing to an EV for the first time, hence why it's so affordable, start here, because this car ticks all the boxes. Anyway, thank you for watching today. Like and subscribe if you, uh, if you enjoy our content. And the series is very, very close. So hang with us. It's a very special one. Thank you and see you soon.